Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a Monday evening episode of Ted's Do Cellar with me, your most gracious host, Ted. Today we're looking at uh, this week's guest ale here at Farmer Bar, which is uh, Harvey's Brewery Sussex Best Bitter. Now this is uh, something that uh, me and a good friend of mine, Philip, have enjoyed on quite a few occasions and uh, I would really recommend. Um, it's one of those drinks that I think is very possibly like situational. Let so, me get that for you, Ted. Thanks, Joel. Um, so it's it's enjoyable depending on like what kind of circumstances you're drinking it in. Um, it, I'll just be off the bat. It's probably I'm recording an episode of the Booze Cellar. I'm fucking no. Um, and so it's like I'll just be off the bat. It's it's a good beer or it's a good bitter rather to um, have with like your mates over a chat. Or with a nice hearty meal. Um, it's a good all-round bitter, but it's more than anything one to have to relish it and enjoy it, um, along with something maybe, or just on its own. It's really not a cooking drink at all. It's definitely not a sesh drink or a pre-drink at all. So it probably only fits into about three or six of my categories. But it's still really nice, and it's only 4% ABV, so it's, you know, it's got a good alcohol strength, but it's not too strong, I would say. Um, uh, it's currently on, as one of the guest ales here at the moment at Fama Bar, so it may come back in the future, but it may also be away for a little while after it's done here at the moment. Um, so I would recommend getting in on it and uh, trying it out if you're in the area. It's uh, 3.50 a pint here, uh, which I think is definitely well worth the value for money. Um, and yeah, uh, so let's, as always, let's have a quick sniff of it first. It's it's a funny old smell because like. It, it kind of smells like a cross between a proper traditional British bitter, but also like a dark reddish ale. And I feel like that combination of smells makes it something like very unique in terms of its actual smell. And you can sort of really sort of like have a good snifter of it and really get a good feel for it. But, you know, as always, we won't know what it's actually like until we actually taste it. So, as always, bottoms up. That is, that is quality. That is really good. I've, I mean, I've enjoyed this on quite a few occasions, but I can absolutely attest to the quality of this particular bitter. It's, um, I mean, the thing is, there may possibly be better bitters out there, but at the moment, like in my life, I've never tried a bitter that's as good as this one. So I'm going to say, obviously, as you guys know, it fits into about three out of six of my categories. But in contrast to that, I'd have to I'd have to give it like I'd have to give it a ten out of ten. Honestly, it's it, this is an amazing little bitter, really really good quality stuff. I mean, if you can get it in one of these old um, you know uh, German glass uh, tankard uh, style sort of glasses, or if you can, preferably in a Harvey's bar, uh, pint glass really sort of enhances the flavour a bit I feel psychologically speaking but it is really really nice um, and yeah I would say have it with probably there's something hearty like pie and chips or pie and mash or something like a packet of dry roasted peanuts um, I'm sure my uh, good friend Philip who I've had this with on a few occasions would probably attest to that idea um, but yeah really really nice ale um, oh, sorry bitter sorry must get correct. Uh, yeah, really, really good quality bitter. Um, not too strong, not too weak. Really good price. Um, and yeah, I'd say consistently, like whenever it appears here at Fama Bar as one of our guest ales, it's one of my favourite drinks. And I would say deservedly so. You know, for three fifty for a pint, it's you get a good value for money out of it. Um, it obviously, obviously, it's different price in other pubs, but yeah. Even when it's slightly more at other pubs, I'd still say go for it. It's really, really nice. But yeah, as always, uh, if you guys liked this video, leave a like, share, and subscribe. Uh, what else? Uh, check out my other social medias, YouTube channels, and all that shit in the uh, video description below. Um, if you have any suggestions for any future videos, be them reviews or any other kind of 
palaver, whatever, uh, leave them in the comments section below and I'll see what I can do. Uh, and then, yeah, until next time, uh, stay safe, have fun, drink responsibly, know your limits, and I'll see you guys at the bar next time on Ted's Booze Cellar. Bye-bye for now.